Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Liv from Them Gang. If you're new, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Right now, I'm going to react to... Wait. Okay, yeah. I'm going to react to White Barber and Harlem Barber Shop. What would you do? Hope this is a funny video. Somebody suggests it's funny. Okay, let's see. It's Friday in the big city, and Gabriel's got a hot day. But first things first, time for a quick stop at Danny Moe's Barbershop in Harlem for a last minute shape up. Sir, Gabe, what's, what's up, baby? How you, How you doing? doing? What's going on, man? Man, I just need to get my hair cut, get straight, get in and get out. Oh, man, I wish I could cut you right now, but I'm a little tied up. But Gabriel didn't make an appointment. I got somebody who can definitely take care of me. All right? Who? The new guy. That's right. The only barber available is Ben. <laughs> the white dude? Really? Yeah. Hell no. Well, he's not going to have the Denny Mo uniform unless he's official. Ben is skilled. Certified and experienced, but Gabriel just doesn't trust him. Hey, let him touch my hand, man. You tripping? You're at Denny Moe's Barbershop in Harlem. Oh, I love him. He's white funny. Barber. What, what would, would you do? do? Yo, son. Oh, I love you. Yo, Gabe, what's good, man? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, man. All right. Well, I need to get this right up here taken care of. I'm a little tied up right now. I got like two others, man. That's right behind me. Uh, can anyone else get me? This dude can get you right here. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You cared of me, right? Wow, what's up, man? Come on. The white cat? Step on up, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, you don't know nothing about black hair. But Daryl T. Downing takes note of the location really? of Ben's chair. He says, the front chair, that must be something. That's premium right there. Exactly. Right. If Denny wasn't here, would you let him cut your hair? I wait for Denny, man. Make a point. Because he's white, right? No. It don't have nothing to do with his race. You're the only one tripping in here. I right said, now. I don't have time, so if it does get messed up, you know what I mean? I don't man, just sit in the chair, man. But Gabriel just <laughs> won't sit down. You could be the guy. I could be the guy you cuts my hair. You could be the guy and you could say, man, that guy can cut some hair. All right. Sit down. Okay. Give him a try. You can open for somebody else to get their hair cut. Got a little hot. Yo, thank you, man. Oh, yeah. See, that's the man right there. You can't win them all. Struggle from the moon to the tomb. That's right. <laughs> How you doing, brother? John Quinones. John Quinones. Yes, sir. What would you do? I'd go to Denny, because Denny is the guy I made an appointment with. Had a barber for 40 years, and he got sick, and it took me a year to find Denny. Once you express your point, right. then it's over. Right. There's still free choice. Four chairs. Five outside. <laughs> so why disrupt the comfort of everyone? Exactly. Was he being racist? Everybody in America is racist because we live here, and we are under the influence of racism from day one. But when it comes to something as simple as getting a haircut, that's not simple. Really? <laughs> you know what the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? Uh, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not simple. Okay. He so might have to go buy a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. That was that was short though. Now I'm looking for more. I should react to more of those. Okay. Um, let me know what you guys think and how you felt about the response from that first guy. I don't even remember his name. That was quick. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below and suggest some more videos for me to react to. Until next time. Cheerio.